There is something wrong here. Trouble in paradise. And we have to fix it. Cheers. This roadster um, was dropped from quite a height. Three, two, one. See ya. Nice. Right. <laughs> <laughs> See what's what happened, what's causing it, and then we can see uh, uh, how we're going to solve it. Maybe we can move the minute hand and see what happens. And now it goes over. So we know this plate in here is completely loose. We'll have to address that. Uh, because of the drop, uh, the loom broke. I think it's so hard to scratch the inside of a watch. Especially with a bracelet instead of a strap. You really have to uh, put in the effort <laughs> to do that. I'm very fond of this design. And I'll show you why. This bit really reminds me of this. And even screw heads like this we can get make like brand new. Because this is just horrible. Well, not too much play in the uh, ball bearing here. This is the rotor for uh, automatic winding. And this is a ball bearing here. And maybe you can see, if I push here, you can see some play here in the ball bearing. What is there? It looks like a gold flake or something. <laughs> wow. That's a lot of damage. It must have been a huge drop. Now that's interesting. Here it says 21 jewels. And I'll just scratch it out and make it into 20. <laughs> but I'm just wondering, this is the center second wheel. So the pivot is very long and going all the way through. And here is the second hand. But this piece here is so much play that this long pivot might be broken. First, get the movement out of the case. First the minute hand, because that's lower than the second hand. And then the second hand, and there we go. Hey, I thought the dial feet probably were broken. But the dial feet are broken. It's just glued in place by Cartier, but these dial feet are probably broken. Well, yeah, the top dial is just glued in place by Cartier, and uh, these dial feet they are broken. So first I remove the hands and then I remove the dial and then see if we can save the two dial feet that are broken so uh, we can weld them. Here you can see easily how it's secured. There's a 
flat side on the screw. So now it's cutting inside the dial feet. If you just twist the screw. Now you can see the flat bit is here and now it's releasing. And there is quite a bit of damage. You can see the sweep second wheel and it's just, you can see the jewels missing. And now we're wondering if the, the pivot is broke or not. Uh, first I'm going to remove the balance wheel and the missing jewel still you don't see. So maybe it was open before it, uh, before it came here. Well, I'm simply too lazy to pick up this uh, balance top for the hacking function, so I use some Rodico. But it still has to be cleaned, so no harm done. So we have an extra gear tooth and a missing jewel. <laughs> True. And not a sign of the missing jewel. And well, there's a huge amount of oil here. There is a lot of oil here. Oh, lekker, dankjewel. You found the missing jewel. No, we didn't find the missing jewel. And we got an extra tooth and no gear with teeth missing. <laughs> oh, that's clever. Somebody, uh, a lot of oil over there. Somebody had trouble with this uh, with another time. I think somebody replaced just one uh, item, the one with the missing tooth, which was uh, quite obvious, probably. How and did you put it together without the jewel? Yeah, not well, easy. by adding extra oh. oil and praying it will work. So uh, that's it for me for tonight. Uh, I'm going to put this in the cleaning machine. <laughs>